You know, we're here for Summit, but I couldn't resist coming here to uh, Mega Smash Mondays. And what better match to start it off than Larry Lear versus Dom, two pillars of the SoCal scene. I'm ready to see these guys duke it out, man. Best of three, you know what it is. And I, you know, Dom, when I was here last time commentating, Dom won, so I feel like I get like a power up towards him. Oh, do you? And I'm exerting on him all my clutch energy. So see where what were you last week? Where Dom landed in fourth place uh, at the LCQ? He may have he may have needed that support from you, Hbox. Bro, my flight got bodied. Oh, rip. my flight got bodied. It was so bad. But hate to hear it. But we had a good watch party. We made it to Summit, and now we're past Summit. And now we have Tweak and Leo on the top. Leo here also still in winners, but. Right now, we're going to get to see who has a potential shot at fighting him later in the bracket while Larry Lur gets his early 89% string just with easy wolf fares and up airs. Yeah, you can definitely tell that Larry is on the hunt. He's played Dom so many times here at MSM. He knows that if he allows Dom to set up his traps with the, with the Holy Cross, the Holy Water, uh, then that's when Larry's going to have a bad time. He's going to have a very difficult time recovering from the ledge at the same time getting in against him. As you can see, these tilts, these forward airs that are just angled so precisely from Dom uh, are really what give him that extra boom in his gameplay. Yeah, the, the important thing was that Dom didn't really crack even though he got a lot of percent on him early. Still played his game and he knows that Richter has enough weight to him where he can play a few more easy chances. And his tag says exactly what you can expect, just press B. Yeah, we've talked about his tag uh, quite a bit. As we, he's usually, he typically uses that tag when he's on stream. Uh, if not all the time. But it is the reminder, you know what? Sometimes you don't have to be fancy with the forward airs, the back airs, the, these specific angles. Oh. Sometimes you just gotta press B. That was nuts. Larry Lur getting early first stock, but 132, gonna die from probably a forward edge guard. But has a, a few follow-ups now. There we go, dash tech into the grab, down throw, a little bit of bread and butter, another one. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, and air off the side. Yeah. And that's gonna be a second stock for Larry, just like that. Such a good catch from Larry Lur to not only catch T3 Dom's uh, jump, but then recognize that, okay, he has to fare to get back from this angle. And just, I'm just gonna maintain the spacing where I know he has to go through. Down smash, no, not today. You're gonna get wake up attack. Very, very nice. But I love the, just the fundamentals that we see coming out from Larry Lur. You can tell that he's really just putting pressure onto T3 Dom and then tech chasing him, but that down smash catches. Gets it very, very nice and clean. Larry all over Dom. This is pretty dominant considering, uh, you know, his previous record versus, versus Dom. Yeah, typically we would see him like almost struggling to just break through the wall of T3 Dom's traps and uh, between the forward airs, the F tilts, and all the projectiles like throws out. Okay, getting caught, but you know what? Larry Lewis is going to take that trade. At this the point, yes, F tilt at the ledge. Up and down and all around. Very, very well played by Larry. And Dom looking like he needs to completely rethink his game plan here. Otherwise, uh, this is not going to bode well for him in the near future. Yeah, and honestly, like, I think the fact that this is going to be a best of three instead of a best of five is going to play a crucial part to who comes out on top of this because typically Dom has a little bit more time to adjust to his opponent, Larry Lur. Um, I think the last time that these two played at MSM, I was winner's finals, if not grand finals. Definitely best of five sets. Yeah. So I think the best of three here. Maybe working against T3 Dom, but we're gonna find out. It's game two. And game two, Town and City, which makes sense for Dom. But I will say, I agree with you. I agree with you because, um, you know, he, I saw him do amazing reverse 3 0s. Yes. And <laughs> in, in general, though, you, you don't have much room here. So he has to take a little few more risks right now. Yeah, definitely not going to hold back. Bringing out Town and City for game two. And I love the way that T3 Dom will actually set up in center stage against his opponents on this. He really utilizes the bottom platform in the center to not only use as a ceiling to cover any aerial approaches, but also throws the holy water there and uh, also limits some other approaching tools. Exactly. And that's a, you know, that, that's, these are really what you want to do against a guy like Larry Lur. He's, Larry Lur doesn't get phased by being behind, doesn't get phased by being too far ahead. He is a consistent player from front to back. And every time he does it, it's just a, another reason that you can consider his wolf one of the ones to study. Yeah, just the approach that Larry's taking against T3 Dom, he is looking for the buttons that Dom's pushing. And he's being so smart and calculated with his tech chases. Like right there, that was a frame, frame trap. Wow. New to run off and Nair. And Larry, same situation as the first game. In this case, all he really wants to do is say, okay, Dom wants to keep his space. 
throw a few forwarders at me, but if I can just get into that window just a little bit early, I can get in, get a grab, easy bread and butter, go to 42, become 50, become 60. But he has to get in first. Yeah, and of course, oh. that is the hardest thing to do against T3 Dom, just get in. He got way too greedy there. Did not want to mess it up. Okay, sending the Holy Cross back. And you know what? I think we're going to see a similar game plan from Larry Lurie. Larry Lurie is going to slow it down, really take his time to approach and getting his fares, taking his damage, retreating back to neutral, and then setting up again. Forward tilt, Grand Cross. Oh, oh. It's a reminder of how quickly Wolf Forward Air comes out before he can even pull out any projectile. That comes first. Up air, call out two on his downer. Up be my kill. Careful there, Larry. Yeah, I think, I don't know if Larry, if the up would have killed just with the, the base knockback that he had, but at the same time, you know, it might have been just good extra damage. Dealer's choice though, we see T3 Dom trying to recover, able to escape a down tilt. T3 Dom setting up his traps once again. Oh, I like that dash attack, that, that, the backwards hitbox of a got him. Fire and the forward smash, gets an early kill on Larry. Dom doing his best to show us why he's such a good adapter. Trying to push a game three here. <laughs> Even getting a little bit of a rescue from the stage as the platform brings him back to, to Town and City. But Larry with the anti air up smash, that's going to be uh, another stock. We have one and one apiece. Pretty wild. Okay. Fire and Ledge is going to get up. Perfect timing on that, too. Yeah, great patience and understanding of the vulnerability and when that holy water was going to run out. Throws it across, little whip. Up throw, up air. He doesn't catch the double jump. Larry Lur finds himself off stage once again. Woo! That drag are doing a lot of work here. The bobbing and weaving, the ducking and dodging. Oh man, even these air dodges. You see Larry oh. air dodging the stage. What's the option here? Up oh. air! Woo! Whips on top, baby. Dom going to game three right now. Oh, the Ollie you from T3 Dom. You cannot. You cannot forget about the Holy Cross. I feel like no matter what, what position you get hit by the Holy Cross, T3 Dom has a setup. Yeah, that was actually sickening. Very, very nice. Played by Dom. There's a reason this guy wins so many Mega Smash Mondays. Yeah, I mean, he's working his way up to possibly win another one, but he does have... This man's ripped, too. Look at this. <laughs> Adonis sitting back down. He, he is embodying his character. You know, he's, he's got to be as jacked as Richter is. Yeah, R R Richter IRL, dude. Richter IRL for sure. He's rocking the UCI tag. That, shout outs to schools, man. Yep. And game three is going to be on Battlefield. Okay. Interesting position for, for Battlefield uh, counterpick from Larry Lur. I'm pretty sure I've heard Dom say it. This is like one of Richter's best stages. I mean, I, I'm not surprised given just like the fact that you can up to safety and the fact that you can like sort of down air through the platforms mm -hmm. if you aim it right. That gives you so many movement options you wouldn't normally have. That's true. It is a, uh, not as wide as Town and City, so, that, so that's going to give less room for T3 Dom to run around uh, and set up his traps. Another reflector. Okay. He shines from from Larry Lur, really eliminating. Oh, oh that's what it. He's that in there up the side. Holy crap. Yeah, setting up the off-stage off pressure and sealing out with a narrow... Okay, watch out, Larry. Watch out. Okay, I like that dash tag. A little bit of elastic on there. There it is again. Is he dead? He is! My God, Dom with these early kills. Beautiful ledge traps with that holy water. I've seen him take so many stocks that way. Like, that is just the T3 Dom classic, if not the Richter classic at this point. It really is. His spot dodging that grab on command. But the water going on the platform, bit of a misfire from Dom. Comes back down, but the top platform gets in the way of his down air. And those uppies are a little greedy, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. And T3 Dom able to escape death once again. Down tilting just, that is the ejection button for T3 Dom. Pretty much just get away from me, I'm getting away from you, one of us is leaving. The power spot following through, dash tech. And now Larry's turn to maybe get another second kill, but he's going to, oh my god, tether onto the ledge before rolling back to center stage, whiffing double back on both players. Yeah, a lot of whiffed attacks, but at the same time, you know, it only really takes one hit from either player to set it up, either a back air or just something that push Larry off stage. The dash attack, Ooh. yeah, give him the football punt. Get him out of here. Very, very nice by Larry. Needs one more stock now to confirm his spot into, I believe, player's <gasps> oh, quarter. No. Oh, no. Attack. Getting him out of a salty situation. Oh. Oh, oh my god, he <laughs> went under the laser. That was so smart. Low profile. Yeah, low profiling the laser. 
I mean, they're, honestly, that laser's been giving him a lot of trouble, too, especially off stage. And even on stage, you know, it being able to pass through other object, uh, projectiles, very difficult for, for a zoner to deal with. Yeah, and you really love to see. Look at this. 78 now, 86. Can we get much higher? Oh, he's, we definitely see Wolf on the hunt. Larry Lurz shooting those blasters. He knows that he only oh. needs one there. It's so unfortunate what happened, A Dom. very surprised look right now for both Dom and Larry. Confused as to what happened there. And I don't that, know. That'll be it. That's what I'm saying. You know, I think 